We are so happy to have with us Dr. Judy Garber, AACR President. She is Director of the Center for Cancer Genetics and Prevention at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Associate Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Garber is also Associate Physician of Medicine and Attending Physician of Medical Service at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Thanks for being here. I'm delighted. May is National Cancer Research Month as declared by Congress in 2007 in recognition of the AACR and its focus on high quality, innovative cancer research. Why is cancer research so important? Cancer research is the way forward. It's the way to make things better. I can treat cancer patients, which I do, and many of them will do very well, but I can give them better therapies, more effective therapies, less toxic therapies, and I may be able to prevent their disease altogether through cancer research. Would you discuss the process of cancer research and how it ends up leading to better treatments for patients? Well, cancer research is not a linear thing. It's not a process with a pathway that you can predict. Cancer research involves investigators working on many problems, sometimes things you wouldn't realize had anything to do with cancer, very basic biological problems. And then someone sees that the work they're doing really affects not only normal cells, but also abnormal cells like cancer cells. And then someone else may realize that the very vulnerability identified by the previous researcher is an opportunity at, for a way to treat a cancer. And then someone else has to come in with a drug that can target just that defect. And through many people working together, collaborating, and many people looking at work done by others, we have a chance to come forward with something new, something that can make a difference. What are the challenges as you see it facing cancer research today? Well, there are several. First, I think, is still funding for cancer research. This is a big enterprise. We have novel technologies that are expensive, and we need ways to make sure they're available to keep things moving forward. We also have the recognition that cancer is not one disease. It's many diseases. And we need many people working on the problem to continue to make progress. And finally, we have significant access issues, particularly in the United States. We have new drugs that look like they are effective. We have old drugs. We have to be able to make these very promising new agents and effective old agents available to everyone. And that is a problem we all have to take on together. What can people do to support cancer research? Well, we certainly hope that people are willing to support us with funds. Everyone can do that in a different way, but there are many advocacy organizations and independent funding sources to help. Many people, I'm afraid, have to support cancer research by participating in clinical trials for their treatment, some by participating in trials for prevention. And I guess, finally, we ask people to learn something about cancer. If you're an informed member of the public, you may on your own be able to lower your cancer risk. Dr. Garber, thank you so much. Thank you.